So after about two years, I think the Hobby Wing two in one quick run is toast. Okay, now we're gonna get our receiver box just with those three Allens. Here's two more Allens. Now let's take our pinion off. As well as on the motor, we have six Allens. I don't know if you can hear that or see that, but our bearing is obviously gone. Let's get in there and do some doctoring. You could see it kind of wallered that thing out as well. Oh wow. You can see the remnants of a bearing. Well, I'm curious if we get our other bearing on, if it's still gonna work. Let's see what we can find for bearings. All I had to do was calibrate it. You do that. You hold this. See it beeping? That's neutral. Now we gotta set reverse. Hold it all the way in reverse, press down. And then throttle. Hold the throttle all the way down. Press it. All we have to do is get a bearing, and now we got two Hobby Wing Fusion Pros. The a Thanks to A Main, within two days, we got us another Fusion Pro. The 1800 KV, we have the 2300. Let's throw this bad boy in there. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in to our receiver. That's one to turn, two to burn. And if you're rocking the spectrum, it's gonna say throttle. Now that we got that, we mount it up where mine sits. And it looks like we have our pinion not where it goes at all. So I'm gonna have to take this apart real quick, slide it forward. Make sure that it's meshing up good with the spur gear. I'm just gonna take a guess and guess that it's all the way to the end of the shaft. Put that Loctite on. You can see there, we got a pretty good gear mesh. So I'm gonna tighten that up. You can see she's up and running again. Now, let's take care of some of these wires, get everything back together, and check it out.